And he was your wife's husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Hey guys! Ah! It is us, the Normies. We're back to watch more Vikings. This is season six, part two, episode 12, called All Change. I hey, hey. your own iron inside. I'm so sad. I know, man. That was amazing. That was. Yeah. That was. If any character, that was a good way he went. I really, I didn't expect him to get that that amazing of an ending, to be honest. I didn't yeah, expect a... him to have a, a tomb, oh. a burial. Like yeah. I thought that they would just put him on water. Well, he's like, a pretty big. Uh, he's a pretty big figure in Vikings history, I think. Well, okay, actually, man, look. After this episode, I actually went and like tried to look up shit about the real Bjorn Ironside. They definitely. This, took, took th that, this is he is definitely not uh, uh, an example of the real I mean the real Bjorn Ironside they just they had the information they had off of him was off of like Ragnar Lothbrook's like stories and whatnot and like all the stuff that he did as far as like you know visiting different places and all these little voyages like he went to like what is it uh um with Half Den where he went whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. he did all that craziness but like as far as as far as like this I that didn't this did not happen from what I yeah read. I mean yeah it's a lot of different timelines clashed into this show but this is a way cooler version of Bjorn Ironside, hands down though. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, like Bjorn the Explorer too. Bjorn the Explorer, I yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and the, the the thing about history, which is so crazy, is like you know we we really really don't know what happened. And only thing we know is from what like the weirdos back in their days did. They wrote shit down, you know. And that's how <laughs> we like seriously think nerds. about the nerds. You know what I mean? And those <laughs> nerds back in the day, they weren't sought upon as like you know these great people or these great. You know, whatever. So they did what they did, and shouts out to those guys. Because if we didn't, if they if they didn't write what they wrote, we wouldn't be knowing the main stories of like Ragnar, and if he is a real person or not. Because all we have are stories. We don't have a body. We don't have a an armor or a shield. We have stories, and 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 we go off of those stories. And it's good to, you know, I love how they've interpreted it. It's nice. Um, yeah, it's it's been good. Uh, Bjorn, the character is a season one OG. I think everybody in the uh, Lothbrok family got a pretty good send off. Um, yeah. yeah. Alexander Ludwig himself came in season two, and he also recently got married. So congratulations. He did. Yeah. Aww. Hey man. Hey bro. Just... Hey, I've been a fan of you man for a minute. <laughs> Let me tell you, fam. Ever since uh, what was it? He was in he was in Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Yeah. yeah. And I think he was in. Uh, it was an asshole in Hunger Games. He was in a recent movie too. It was like a comedy. Oh yeah, that movie was not good. I saw that movie, bro. It was alright. I can't it was, remember. It, it was an Operation whatever. It was a little love movie that she did. The Christmas movie. I saw that recently. <laughs> no. Well, anyways, you know, congratulations on the wedding. Hope you're, well, you're able to have a, you know, proper honeymoon wherever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, Alexander Ludwig, one of, uh, yeah, I mean, good send off. So let's see what's in store for the rest of the season. It's all on the, the new blood now. So I hope, I hope we see more and other stuff, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Hey, this ain't no market substitute for the actual uh, Vikings. The show. Please support the OG content on Amazon. Watch it there first, and come watch it with us. Support these guys, guys. Come on, go watch it there, and come watch it with us. It's all there now. It's all there. It's all there. It's we all can't binge there. it. Yes. Hey, and guess what? <laughs> if you want to see the whole thing with us, go check out our Patreon. Un Uncut is on there, provided you bring your own copy. Yeah. Check that out. These are, these are thick episodes. I edited the first episode, and I can tell you firsthand, there's a lot of stuff. That you don't see on YouTube, uh, that's only in our uncuts. Damn! So there you go, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And hey, if you can't do that, you can always comment, like, subscribe. Tell us what you thought about the show. Tell, tell us what you know about the real Bjorn Ironside, or what you know about the, the characters in the show in real life, and give us some history, hell history knowledge, as I would say. Let's so, uh, yeah. do it. Let's do it. And this so, new rendition, I can't find it anywhere online, but this new riff on the on the. On the intro is amazing. I, I really like this. I, I like it too. P Dub will be back. Uh, it's actually, hey, actually wish uh, P Dub happy birthday in the comments. Um, that's why he's not here. He'll be back soon. <laughs> Losers! Oh wow, they made it back here. I'm surprised already? they like got all the way back to Kiev. Yeah, like. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're doing some uh, <laughs> uh, season season eight Game of Thrones yes. time skipping. <laughs> Um, oh, no. they, they just got back to Kiev, and uh, King Oleg said to the people just now, enjoy your families while you can. So, I don't know what that means. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm here. What happened? Why are you taking him like that? 
Maybe because of that inconspicuous chatter they yeah, had. Where he was just while like, he was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard what you said. I heard everything. We were defeated by a dead man. I don't understand. The hat the looks so comfy. Oh, the soldiers backed, but it was the officers who were the worst cowards. <laughs> they must be punished. It will never happen again. I wonder if we're gonna go back to like England at all with <laughs> Alfred or anything. Bring a message for Uba. Son of Ragnar if he's here. Oh uh oh. Your brother is dead. It's gotta be a shitty way to receive a message, man. <laughs> I feel like Uba was Ube, I think, it was a better set of Ragnar. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I do feel like he was the most level-headed. Yeah, for real. Like He just, he, he just he, wasn't all about that fight and bullshit. It's like, wherever he went, never, she never really got fucked up. It got better. Get away. But that's his own son. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's a child. <laughs> this would be a really smart way to, like, storytell and do set demo, because it's, like, almost the end. Yeah, and they broke through. Isn't that like the support beam to the room? I said come down! Don't be scared of him, bro. Yeah, I wonder if the kid will end up killing him or something. You are not a child anymore. Your age of innocence is over and gone. For how else are you ever going to be king? That's cool, but where am I going to sleep tonight? Thank you for the metaphor. Katagat was attacked by the Rus. King Harold fell and Bjorn was badly almost... Mortally wounded, we retreated back to Kattegat. That night, Bjorn breathed his last. In the morning, a great miracle happened. He rolled out in front of our warriors. Those superstitious creatures, they fled before him, and they never returned. We all love to use our hero. Fucking love Uba. I know that he wanted us to go on this incredible journey and to find the new land. The They're talking about going west of the Golden Land, isn't that? Aren't they trying yeah, to find Bin Binland? Yeah. He was my brother, and he was your brother. He was your wife's husband. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, dude. They are Eskimo brothers too. Torby's just like, yep, that's fine. Like we give you his sacred ring. He would have wanted that. The people must elect a new ruler. Election arc. Uba would be the natural successor to Bjorn, but he is not here. Oh, dude, that, um, he's probably the best choice, but... For real. He's got some other you, plans. I think you should summon an old thing, and I will propose you as queen. I have no desire to be queen. But you know perfectly well you cannot decide your own fate. It seems there is a vacancy in Kattegat. Uh-huh. Frankie? Mm-hmm. Why don't you... Sail back with your wife and two children and claim the throne. And I will remain here in Iceland as king. I will look like my father. He never wanted to be king of Kattega. <laughs> he despised those who would be anything, betray any principle or person just to seize the crown. I hope you're not like that shit. I think he is, bro. Uh, you think? I mean, he already, Uba, you know that. Uba knows, <laughs> Uba already knows the truth. We literally saw what he did. Yeah, Uba knows the truth of what happened. Yep. They're so shut in an hotel today. So? And they argued. We have to sell with them. Why? You're being dumb. That dude's gonna kill you. What is real now? Oh, shit. It not be real tomorrow. This fucking dude. There are too many voices. <laughs> what do you mean? What's this map? They are the most important officers in our army. Oh, While they no. are digging a ditch. It's a grave. Mm. They need to be reminded that they are not as important as they imagine themselves to be. <laughs> to be okay, so you got a battle upcoming, and the thing you want to do is just kill your valuable men. This is fucked up. I don't want to watch. These officers betrayed their country. Didn't you run to? Press it! That's like kind of fucked up. I think it's personally kind of fucking dumb, but you know. Well, yeah, like these are pretty valuable men. You're gonna need them. <laughs> One day, this will be your kingdom. Show them what you will do to traitors. I beg you for mercy. Please. That doesn't prove anything to anybody. <laughs> it's like, oh, so the, 
the kid will be forced to kill when he has no choice. You're ambitious. What would you expect in return for your support? A token of friendship? Really, dude? I do not believe that Bjorn would take another wife when he already had you. Hush. That's what you said before at Bjorn's wedding, but I do not want to be silenced and honest about my desire for you. Boy. I have to go. I have an appointment with Prince Oliver. What for? I don't know. He invited me. Why would he want to do that? That's what I intend to find out. Well, be careful, my brother. The rules are not like us. Hmm? <laughs> they definitely are, man. <laughs> I wonder if Ivar knows what he got his ass into. Come on, Ivar. Tell me, what do you want to do? I'll kill myself. Stuart, long ago your time starts. Go away, you filthy bastard. I have a story to tell. I told you to go away. Is that deer? Listen to my story. I want to listen. Yep. It's deer. It's deer. I have good news. I came to tell you that I'm almost ready to challenge Prince Oleg. Many of the returning warriors have become. Disillusioned with my brother's leadership. They have lost faith in him. They are ready for a change. My army will assemble at Novgorod. When we have captured the garrison, I expect you and Prince Igor to join me. You will receive a dagger. That will be the signal for you to flee from Kiev. Why can't we go with you? Hey, Oleg, I think he wants to kill me. We will not give him any excuse to do so. I entrust you, Ivan Bonus, to safely convey the prince to Novgorod. It will not be easy. Oleg is afraid now. He loses any claim to be the legitimate ruler. I understand. I will see you, Clown. I love you. I don't think he's that little bit of big of a shit, man. You yeah. get fucked around with a bunch of dumbasses. He's not a very good actor. He's like constantly taking me away from. <laughs> the little kid? Yeah. I don't think he's too bad. We were thrust upon each other. I didn't know anything about you. Your brother, I was rather mysterious about your relationship. I know that brotherly relationships can often be strained. It's been so with my own brothers. Why did you want to talk to me? I like Vikings. Mm -hmm. I would like to have a bodyguard of Vikings. I would trust you more than my own guards. Except perhaps for Ivar. Even though I love Ivar. I was disappointed, of course, that we failed to capture Kantikat. But I'm no longer interested in attacking Scandinavia and its peasants. I believe we should attack Constantinople. Mm. A rich and much more attractive. Target. You don't say anything. Sometimes silence is better. The longest hill grows, the Chinese and Arabs have given us many things. Beautiful things. Pleasurable things. Like this. Opium? What is it? It's just poppy seed. Opium. It's, just, um, it's like, nah, bro, I, I uh. <laughs> oh no. I already, I already been through a bender. Are you so afraid? Like you don't know me, bro. <laughs> Smell. He was definitely an enabler, man. Bro, that stone, nothing's gonna ever grow there. What are you doing? Is this really the land that you want to be king of? <sighs> this harsh, unproductive land that is miserable. You will struggle the rest of your life just to survive here. I have no idea who you are. What you believe in, or even what your real name is, perhaps that is how it is meant to be. But I do know we need to trust each other. We need you to come with us to help us to furnish a second bond. Wait, without what? You, we can't leave. What? That was a weird cut. We cannot trust Shetto, but without any others, they would not come. But I know that Shetto went mad. Slaughtered an innocent family without warning. If we are at sea on an open boat there, the consequences they would be catastrophic. Unless you and I are willing to deal with it together. Did you want to believe? I want to believe. I need to believe. Let's put a little tearing lamb, sir. I see you have a deal. You can trust me well enough. I don't mean to disturb you. It's all right. It's hard to accept that the arm is gone. Damn, that's a it's beautiful place. The place they have this. You're a child? You're a child? Aww, yes. Probably not Bjorn's. It's Bjorn's child. It was terrible when Gunnhild lost the child she was carrying. Sadly, we do not wait for your child to become ruler of Katgat. These are quick and desperate times. The Rus may attack us again, and yet we have no king or queen to unite by. Should have feeling he has. I think the legacy of Ragnar Lothbrok and Bjorn Ironside should live and continue. What are you doing out here, Eric? And I have a chance. Given the right preparations. I would like to be queen. 
Yeah, what the fuck is what, what is happening this episode? Why are they doing all this extra shit? I don't know. I just feel like they're opening up a lot of things with just a few episodes left. Or Ivar. What do you mean? You were hoping to return to Kattegat as a king, weren't you? Perhaps. You wanted to return to the past. You loved your wife. What was her name? Fritis. We are all brought back perpetually to the past. But they never explained why she still... You're wrong. Looks like her. What did she look like, Fritis? Literally exactly like you. She was small, like you, <clears throat> but blunt. She dressed after our fashion. She wore her hair, so I trusted her. She was the one who told me I was a god. But then you killed her kid. I don't believe you want to betray your And how can I prove it to you? Um, mm, that doesn't prove anything. Your position in Iceland is secure. We don't have to risk everything on this voyage. We do. We did a terrible thing. The gods will understand and not punish us. We are born ceaselessly into the future. Some a ship of fools. <laughs> ship of fools. Great song by Griff Dead. I wanted to tell you, Ingrid, that I have summoned a meeting of the old thing. The Latin ruler of Kattegat. I want to know if you will stand. I do not think I would stand. Except for this. What is this? I am carrying Bjorn's child. Are you though? I know, man. I remember you told me that you were raped by King Harald. So perhaps the child you carry is his. Good shit. Calling it out like it is. I knew I was pregnant before Harald raped me. This is Bjorn's child. That should have been my child. What the fuck? Weird vibes. Oh. For no reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I was not a trap, dude. It all looks like a Viking movie. Yeah, that movie. Oh. What is happening? Did she dye her hair? Ivar's like going through some shit. Is there opium in the room? Should get him high? I think he's getting some feeling back. Yeah, he got that feeling back. He's like, what's going on? Is this real? Watch the brittle bones. Crack. I believe you now. I don't understand. They need to explain this. I think he got feeling back in an area that he's no, not No, no, I mean feeling. just like the whole like... Freydis Katia. Yeah. The whole Freydis Katia thing. Oh. Do you want to come with me? Damn. Well, y'all move forward fast, huh? I know that Tyr is still alive. Please tell me, has he been in contact with you? Don't say a word. Mm -hmm. No, Jesus. Uh, uh, it's, a it's, a it's, it's a trap. It's a trap. No! I'm all you're better than this, bro. I Uh oh, dude, this is about to be bad news bears, bro. Like, all of it's about to be bad news bears, man. So I get this bad feeling in my stomach. It would be bad. The boat has a stick of I suppose. We will talk soon. Of course. Eric. What is it you really want? I think you know. To be king? You're trying to be king, though? What was this episode? No, bro. I was just like, this whole time I'm just like, what? I feel like there really wasn't. I feel like this episode they just need to get the story across of like what's happening yeah. after Bjorn's death. Like I get what you're saying. Last episode, like they're trying to be experimental with some things, yeah. but it's like, can we can we like clear some things up? Well, <laughs> no, I was like, specifically talking about like the, the the battles, the narration, and like, the, but like. But, but things were still happening, even if they were not showing them. Yeah. But I feel like this time nothing really happened. Nothing happened. Nothing really. I happened. mean, I wasn't. Nothing really happened. Like we got. Okay, Ivar got laid. That's pretty big. Like that. That, that happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay no. Sweet. Ivar got laid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Deer came through and was just like, "Yo, I'm still." 
I'm here, y'all. Like, I'm here for you. You know what I mean? And, uh, fucking poor Igor, bro. He had to... Igor went through some shit, man. Like... Y- yeah, Igor. but, like... I don't know, man. Hey, the storytelling so... is just... Uh... Previous seasons, Igor... Like, little Igor, baby Igor... Was kind of a so- psycho, no? Like, didn't he, like, kill, like, a... His own pet or something for fun. Yeah, I can't remember, but they 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 were they were building him. They were building him that way. Yeah, and now now he's like, I cannot look at. No, I don't think. Well, killing a pet is not as easy as killing. If you have emotion, if you have emotional attachments to a pet, it's like a child. No, I mean, bro, that's a dare man. That's a man in front of me screaming, "I have kids. I don't deserve this shit." Like, I don't know. I mean. I, I mean, it was kind of... I, I, I totally understand that there's a difference. I acknowledge the difference. I'm just saying, why would you build... Why would you show that he is a little messed up as a child and that he's taking after Oleg and then be like, oh my God. Maybe once he saw like the... F- Actual, I actually actual, don't like Oleg. The actual realities like, of it. I, I don't like. Okay, I don't. I think he's a good villain I, for this last season because he was. Oh wait, actually, the whole season's out. Yeah, the yeah, whole oh, season. Oh damn, I know that. Oh shit. I didn't know that either. Oh, well, this is what we gotta say about Oleg. Oleg is a very entertaining person to watch on screen hmm. because he in himself is just dastardly <sighs> evil. He's a psycho. Like I think last season I was like saying, man, I love watching what are Oleg. You I'm I love. Trying to I was like. I was like, I love watching Oleg and Ivar because they're just like two horrible, evil people bouncing evil ideas off of each other. It's like, hey, who could be more, more worse? Let, 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 let's, let's have a game. You know what I mean? They're also trying to like figure out who's going to betray who first. Yes, yes. But like in this season, I feel like Ivar has taken a... I don't know what. He just seems... It, it seems like Oleg has the upper hand by a lot on Ivar right now. I mean, yeah. And, 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 and I would say last season, it felt like, even though obviously Oleg being where he is and where he's being Roos, he's the head of the Roos and all that craziness, <laughs> last season it still seemed like Ivar still had some of his, well, I think, you I, know, I, prowess, I, I would say. Because at that point, like, Oleg, Oleg and Ivar had the same goals because Ivar convinced him to go and attack Norway and reclaim Kattegat. And they both had interest in that. Yeah. But now, Oleg is like, fuck Norway, let's go to Istanbul. Yeah. And like, yeah. that I'll their interests no. are splitting. And so like, Ivar is now disposable. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Ivar and Vitzer, I mean, it, it, Oleg definitely knows their weaknesses. Like, he's got Vitzer back on the drugs. Freitas is 100% spying for Oleg. <laughs> like, yeah. like, it's like, it's like, it's no. Like, she was not way. subtle about it. She's like, so, uh, where's Tear? When's it coming? What's, uh, what's going on with that? Like, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. you're like, and it's oh, like, like the only <laughs> thing that would get Ivar to his knees, I, I mean, I don't, he, is he, he, probably killing her again. <laughs> like, killing he, Freitas a second time. How did he kill her? And for, like Freitas? He, like yeah. Oh, he, he like str- he no, he's like he strangled, strangled her. Yeah, he, her yeah. So if it was Freitas, like somehow survived, she would at least have nah, scars. It, yeah, there's it's no, like it's not Freitas. It's, it's, it's definitely it's definitely not the same person. It's it's, it's it's not. It's it's someone that looks just like her, and he's taking she's taking good it, advantage of him. Yeah, because a he came, b it's like. I feel like that's the. I, I feel like if there's anything that's gonna get Ivar to like succumb and, and be weak, this is it. Yep. And yep. Uh, again, and, and, he, it, and it, he just did it. Yeah, it, and it, and it goes right back to uh fucking um Oleg just being dastardly evil conniving con artist and there you go. Yeah. Cause he got him, bro. He got him both. He got Mitzer. Mitzer's on the drugs, and yep. then now Ivar is. Smitten, <sighs> and then Eric is. It's just like as soon as there's any room to clamor to power, like all this trusting bullshit goes out the window, and everybody's just back to playing games. Yeah. I, I. It was a strange episode, though. It sure. was. I didn't. I, I. I. I see what Prince Oleg was trying to do with killing all of his officers and, and making that point. But it was just... Uh, yeah, that was a bad call because... I know, man. I mean, like, you're going to need those people. Like, yeah. You know, there's other ways to punish them, but like, you're going to need those people. <laughs> Especially if you're 
so right now you've got Kattegat coming after uh, Kiev. You've also got Deer coming after Kiev. And now... I don't know if Kattegat's coming after Kiev. Because Kattegat is trying to elect their own ruler. They're to and it they're out. trying to like make that, sure they have something going on before another attack. That's true. That's true. That's they're true. trying to figure this shit out. I don't know. It seems like they're just opening up a lot of shit with a few episodes left. I'm just... I'm curious... What's gonna happen? Yeah, I mean, it's just this was a very just an open ended episode. Like a few things happened, but not much happened. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they were just like positioning the pieces where they want them to be. Yeah. So hopefully the next episode will be like I don't know <laughs> something that can actually happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Stuff, stuff happens. I just feel like you know it's just it's it's an aftermath. You know what I mean? They we just had Bjorn Ironside die. Yeah. yeah. You know. And then they, hey man, look, I, I feel bad for Igor, that's all I have to say. I know you don't like Igor that much, you think he's a little bit of a shit. Oh, I do I, feel bad, a little bad I, for him. I feel, no, yeah. I feel bad for the little man, and I feel like... Oh, I mean, I feel bad for him, he's a child. I, I, I okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> she feels bad for him, don't, don't listen to what I said. But what I'm trying to say is, I feel like, I feel like his calling is going to come here soon. He's, I, I if, the, if the people are, are uh, of the ruse... Hold this kid to that high of a, you know, altar yeah. or whatever. I feel like there's some good that's going to come out of him here soon. Mm. I think I think I think Deer is going to come along and, and save the day because yeah. I feel like even his own military. The one thing that Deer said was that my bro- people are not okay with my brother's tactics and what he's doing, and it's I agree with that. But I, I see that happening because he just off his, mil- his own military folk in front of his other military folk. Mm. So there is unrest. We shall see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I guess uh, Ube is going to Vinland, right? The golden, yeah, I think. I think the gold, that's what the golden land. Yeah. In Keto, man. I don't fucking trust that dude. Chateau, Keto, Chateau. I don't, I don't Chateau. trust him. I don't trust him, but I do believe it when he says he's looking for redemption. Because he, he, wasn't, he wasn't a bad dude to start with. He was... And despite that family being viciously murdered, like, they were kind of asking for it. Like, that dude was a fucking asshole. Avon, do you remember? Yeah, he was, he like, was that asshole. Like, that dude was, like, a he was being huge... I mean, they just wanted to split away from the group. Yeah, but but, yeah, he, but, but he, he, kept, he kept causing conflict. Like, he was he, being he, a like, fuck. He kept, he kept at it. Like, he... I'm not saying they deserved that, but I, I'm saying, I'm saying like, they... Maybe I just don't remember. They were definitely right? poking... Avon was being a fucking asshole. Yeah, they, they were shit. poking the bear. They were definitely poking the bear. But, no, and, 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 and no one needs to get brutally really mirror slaughter possession. Violence is not the answer, damn it. It is not the answer. You know what I mean? Even even in, in Viking times, it's but, not the answer. You can talk it out. I don't I don't trust Shadow, but I do believe him with, with the redemption thing, but I don't I don't trust I don't him. I don't trust Yotera actually. I feel like Yotera's gonna fuck some shit up. Who? Really? Yotera, yeah. Who? I think Shadow's the, the, the one that Ota- we should the other be. the older old guy who oh, told Otera. I think Yotera's the one to worry about, but you know, we'll shall see. I don't like the I don't know why what he would yeah. I, I, it's I the least suspecting one. I think that he's just a, like a observer. Observer, yeah. Shall see. Um, he's a Christian too. He was kind of taken aback by the whole Bjorn story. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't know if we're ever gonna get back to England or um, see any of that. I don't think so. So I did watch. More... Oh, um, me, me and P Dub did watch uh, the very first episode of The Last Kingdom. It's actually pretty dope. I think we should maybe look into that next. Um. So, I, one thing that kind of bothers me a little bit is that they know that people lie, right? So, coming in from, for the Viking guy and say that King, that, that, um, Ivar, uh, sorry, not, uh, Bjorn is dead. And then him showing up doesn't really mean he was resurrected. It most likely means that they are lying to you. So why would you take it like... The new Christ is here. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, I uh, mean, bro, yeah, it's, it's a lie. Like, I know that, like, it's going to fuck with you on, like, a mental level. And you're just going to be, like, questioning reality and everything. Are you talking about this but also, part of the story where they were, like, he resurrected the next morning? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Well, I, think, they, I, th- I think they're just trying to make. I think that's no, just, no, like, No, no, but what I'm talking also about is um, I, uh, when one of the new guys who just showed up with the two beards. Um, in mm. the last episode, and then he went to Oleg to tell him that uh, Bjorn was dead. Oh, uh, uh, Hakon. Then they killed him. Yeah, yep. 
so like then then the, 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 the entire uh, Rus army believed that Bjorn was dead. Right. So then when he suddenly showed up again, right, they and were he, like, he never you lied to me. He but their did. their goal was Jesus Christ is coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah he, what? <laughs> he never. D- yeah, I don't know. I I yeah. I don't know. But I think in terms of him telling Ube about it, I think he was just trying to... I mean, you know, they, they believe in the gods and stuff. They so gotta, like they, I know, they gotta, I know. They, I know they believe the, in gods, but also, they, you know that people lie. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like... It, they gotta play the theatrics of it to keep up the whatever. Like, for example, when Ragnar was dying, he was like, the, the, I, I will be in the halls of the Aesir. I see you, yeah. Odin. But, like, he was he really seeing that stuff? He yeah. was saying it was all a theater at the end of the day to make sure that his legacy lives on, as I would say. It's a theater. It's more this more than anything. You know what I mean? It's theater, knowing that he did that, that he was able to like come back from the dead yeah. and scare off the Rus army. Yeah, that I understand from the standpoint of the Vikings. I understand they want to keep their legend and they keep their keep their myths and everything. Um, I understand that. Yeah. I don't understand this from the point of the the, 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 Rus. the Rus. Like, why I, would you give that story so much? Because credit? I think they don't want to seem like they were weak. They want to feel like, okay, we ran for a reason. It's because we saw a dead man come back from the dead. Yeah. And it, it's a way for them to be like okay with the fact that they were they that they ran. Yeah. Because you got they even Oleg said he's like, we never lose. We're the real go yeah. and come back from the dead. It's that's the reason why, and that's why he wanted to show that example. <sighs> but I understand you on that one. Well, let's see what happens on the next one. I really uh, liked the first one. This one was just meh for me. Yeah. Same. Uh, excited to see the next. Same. All, all right, right guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Vikings. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Sakif, Clayton, Harry McVan, Exploring Dylan, Aaron, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome day.